Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this section, we are going to see about data types in CX programmer. Before entering into the topic, if you are not subscribed to our channel, kindly subscribe to get more updates. Data types in CX programmer. So, what is data type? Data type is used to define the size of the variable we are going to use in the programming. Knowing data types of our input and output we are going to use in programming is very important. So, it is the data size of the symbol from the initial address in the IBO memory and the type of data stored there. Let's take one digital input. Let's take a contact, NMO or NC, whatever it is. So, this will come under a digital input, right? So, the operation of this NO or NC will be like 0 or 1, on or off. So, it will come under a Boolean. It will be a binary input. So, it can operate only with 1 or it can operate only with 0. There is no in between number or there is no less or greater than 1 or 0. So, 1 means on, 0 means off. In some cases, 0 is on, 1 is off. Like that, you can define the input according to the requirement. So, like that we have few more data types. Those are integer, real, word, string. So, data types are used to monitor the values in IO memory with CX programmer. So, we have basic data types. So, those are all boolean, integer, double integer, long integer, unsigned integer. So, like that we have more data types. So, all these data types we will be using in the programming. Even timer and counters are also coming under uh, data types in CX programmer. So, let us see about its size. So, as we have already discussed about bool which is called as boolean. This is the bit data. You can see size is 1 and 0 means false and 1 means true. It is a single bit. The size is a bit, number of bits. So, if you take an integer, that will be a 16 bit, correct. So, integer is a 16 bit and you can take a, a byte which is a 8 bit. So, for the 16 bit, the range is minus 3 to 7, 6, 8 to 3 to 7, 6, 7. Suppose in your program, you are using an integer as a data type, you are declaring one variable. Let us take one uh, you know, practical example, you are going to uh, get the uh, water level in the tank. So, you are keeping a level uh, transmitter. So, for the level transmitter, you will be uh, defining some value. Like, uh, uh, you can uh, measure the quantity of water in the tank. And uh, that quantity of water in the tank, you want to read it in a PLC means you need to declare that as a variable. Right. So, that variable may be an integer or a double integer according to the size of the uh, you know quantity you can declare the variable here. So, while declaring that variable you are supposed to use the range. For example, if you are declaring the integer as that variable you can only use between these numbers. Right. Suppose your, your range is more means you can make use of this double integer. So, comparing to integer, the range is more because the size is more. So, here for the double integer, we have a 32 bit and for the long integer, it is 64 bit. And in, when, when it comes to the unsigned integer, there is no negative value. It will be 0 to 65535. Like that, for each and every data type, we have a range here. For the timer, look for the timer, we have a timer number. So, this many timers you can make use of it and this is the number of seconds we will be giving, the maximum number of seconds we can give. So, like that we have multiple data types here. According to that you need to declare the variable and the variable you have declared will be in this range only. So, it depends upon our application, right? So, according to my application, I will be choosing the variable. Right. So, that is all about the data types in CX programmer. I will meet you in the next session. Before that, if you are not uh, subscribed to our channel, kindly like and subscribe. Thank you.